Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at relay switch circuits. So let's get started. Now, relay switch circuits are quite simply circuits that involve something called a relay switch. And a relay switch can be used to control a high voltage circuit using a safe low voltage circuit. So it kind of acts as a safety feature. And if we look at what a relay switch is made up of, we've got two parts. It's got an electromagnet and a switch. And this is the circuit symbol for a relay switch. So you need to be able to identify or draw this. So notice how we've got a box or a resistor looking thing here. This is actually your coil or your electromagnet with some wires either side. And we've also got a switch near it like this. And notice how we've got this dash line combining the two things together and that is important to include because it suggests that the two things are working together which they are. So how does it work? Well it says here that when a current passes through the electromagnet it causes the switch to close and completes the circuit. So when the current passes through the coil of the electromagnet it causes the switch to close which can then allow current to flow in another circuit. So it's a way of connecting two circuits together a low voltage one and a high voltage one. So let's look at two examples of where relay switches can be used. So in the first one, we've got a simple relay circuit. So on the left, we've got our low voltage circuit, which is then powering a high voltage circuit. So you'll notice we've got a battery, a switch, and then a relay switch. And this is connected to a second circuit with a battery and a motor. So what happens is when the switch on the left hand side circuit is closed, then that completes this circuit. And that means the current can flow from the negative terminal round and up through the electromagnet. And that then closes this switch attached to the second circuit which allows the current to flow here and power on the motor. And the reason that the switch is going to close when current passes through the electromagnet is because that this creates magnetic effects which pull the switch closed. So just to summarize that, it says when the switch in the left circuit is closed, current flows anti-clockwise into the electromagnetic coil, which in turn causes the switch in the right circuit to close. This completes the circuit on the right and the motor switches on. So this is likely to be our high voltage circuit because it's got a motor and a motor would usually have a high voltage across it. A second example of where you might see relay switches is in a relay control circuit. So it says this type of circuit could be used in the home to turn on lights when the light level drops below a certain intensity. The resistance can be altered by the variable resistor to change the light intensity at which the bulb turns on. So remember we've seen in a previous video the purpose of the variable resistor in a control circuit and it's to allow you to control the conditions at which something switches on or off. So in this case we've got a bulb. So here's a picture of our control circuit on the left with our relay switch and then another circuit on the right which you might want to turn on or off. So notice how we've got a variable resistor as our upper component and an LDR as the lower component. We've then got a MOSFET and then we've got our relay switch where we've got our coil and our switch. And then the second circuit, we've got mains AC supply and a bulb. So here's the steps and how this specific example of the control circuit works. So when light intensity decreases, the resistance of the LDR increases. So remember that's because of the opposite of load light down resistance up. So light goes down, so the resistance of the LDR goes up. So this causes the voltage across the LDR to increase and that's because V is proportional to R, remember. So as resistance goes up, then voltage goes up. So we're saying the voltage across here goes up, which means that the voltage across the MOSFET must go up as well. So when this MOSFET switch is on, this allows current to flow through the coil of the relay switch, which closes the switch to the second circuit and switches on the bulb. So this is what it says here. When the voltage across the MOSFET reaches about two volts, it switches on. This allows a current to flow through the electromagnetic coil of the relay switch, thus closing the adjacent switch and completing the second circuit, which lights the bulb. So we have a low voltage circuit on the left powering a high voltage circuit on the right. And lastly, just to point out, this should say MOSFET rather than MOSFET transistor, because remember the T in MOSFET stands for transistor anyway. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.